Hey everyone, welcome back to Friday Crypto. Today we're gonna to look at Link versus Bitcoin. We're gonna look at just this one chart. We're gonna look at just Link Bitcoin on the monthly chart. We're gonna do some speculating here on fair value fits for Link versus Bitcoin. So if you like the video today, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Telegram, and Patreon. I was gonna do more altcoin videos, but my first two that I did this morning are as handy, been as handy as a soup sandwich. So uh, we're gonna try something else instead. So uh, link Bitcoin monthly chart speculating, where could the fair value be? Will we ever beat this peak? Will we ever meet this peak? Well, as you can see our trend lines here, and I just speculated out and ended it in 2023, because I assume that sometime between now and then, we will put in our cycle peak, okay? There's a possibility that we go into 2023, although I don't think that's uh, quite on the cards as of yet, right? If, if we're still hanging around low prices and, uh, you know, by December and we haven't really moved much, then maybe, you know, we could possibly start flirting with, uh, you know, the end of 2022, 2023. But I think... Uh, for the odds, I think we probably peak, give or take a few months on each side, sometime next summer, right? So I, next summer, July, I'd put it, I'd put that there. And then, you know, give or take two or three months to this side uh, for early and two or three months to this side for late. So uh, uh, the odds for me, for, for, for Chase, for five day crypto is um, maybe late, you know, about, about a year from now, 12 months, right? or early as maybe, you know, April, May, I think will at least last to that. That's, those are my predictions. That's my story and I'm sticking to them. So going back to the link Bitcoin valuation, um, could we ever get back above this line? Could this be our fair value? I don't think so. And here's why. Now, obviously I love Chainlink and Bitcoin is cool too. Uh, but this kind of valuation, as you'll see in just a moment, could be quite unlikely this cycle. Now, maybe next cycle we get up into these valuations, but let's let's pretend that Bitcoin peaks at 150K, right? I think there's, you know, most people would agree that that's certainly possible, right? Whether or not we do it or not, if we peak earlier, right? If we peak, you know, in February or, you know, late this year, I don't know if we'll make it to 150K. If we, you know, peak around July of next year, right? Uh, I think that's certainly doable. I don't know a lot of people that wouldn't say that we could at least be 150K for Bitcoin. So if we are at that level, uh, look at the valuation here on the on the right. So point, let's call it point two, let's say point zero zero three. So we'll round up, say we get to there, right? So we peak in August 1st and we're at that uh, valuation. Okay, so if Bitcoin is... 150,000, this would put the link valuation at 500, right? So that seems a little bit of a tall order to me, uh, given the fact that we've been, you know, hanging out in the mid $20 range for a while. Now, do I think linking it to 100 or possibly 200? Sure. What would that look like? I'm glad you asked. Let's visit this line. <laughs> so now we've broken that line, right? Back in the uh, December 20, after our $20 bubble peak, against Bitcoin. And now maybe we're going more onto this lower trend line, the orange line. So if we are to continue to get back on track with that and kind of maybe hug around this and use this as our fair valuation for link against Bitcoin, say we do the same peak around, uh, you know, right around August 1st. Okay. Uh, that is 0 0.001. Now with with the maths in our brains, you can take $150,000 times it by 0 0.001 and you get a rough $150 chain link. Does that sound more doable? Yes. Does this hold this trend line? Yes. So the evidence would show based on math and history that the orange trend line is more of a fair fit value going forward than the yellow one. Now, I'm not saying we couldn't possibly go up there, right? That's doable. But this cycle, I don't know if we're going to get back to those levels. Now, I think Link could potentially be thousands of dollars at some point in the in the future, right? In the next decade or something, right? That, okay? We're talking about just this cycle and just for our peak, where could potentially we get to? And this is, you got to keep in mind also, this is assuming Bitcoin is only 150,000. So those numbers go up in value uh, for 
for link if Bitcoin say is at 200K or 250K, okay? So uh, lots of Ks. Um, so hopefully this helps you. We haven't really talked about this a whole lot, but maybe we'll do more like this if I keep getting paltry results on altcoin videos. <laughs> I don't think we have a hundred views on either of my videos from this morning. So not really worth it. Uh, hopefully it helps somebody, those hundred people. But um, also I wanted to draw your attention to, let me, let's remove those lines now. So hopefully that helps you. Uh, monthly chart. Let's draw our attention to current candle. Uh, October candle. Any guesses of what this is forming up to pot potentially be? Uh, a monthly, let me put it back on auto, a monthly potential dragonfly doji candle on a monthly scale for Chainlink against Bitcoin. Uh, that usually indicates the a trend reversal, right? The downside would technically be done on a technical basis on a chart. That's usually what these candles uh, signify uh, when you have your opening and closing price very close to each other with a thin candle body. The wick is long on the bottom, not much on the top. It's usually go time. And on a monthly scale, I mean, on a daily scale, it'd be great. On a weekly scale, just fantastic. On a monthly, pretty hard to find. So that is a good sign to me. Now, this candle doesn't close for another five days and five hours. So we'll see what it ends up being. But I like our chances for a, you know, move back to the upside on a bigger scale. I want to show you the also the 21 month exponential moving average. I would love to close a little bit higher here, right? Not much. We don't have much to go. I would love for link to close like right at that uh, 21 month level, which is 0 0.0055. So 5,500 sats basically, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and do that link. Thank you. And then we can, you know, get moving back towards that uh, that uh, new fair fit valuation that we think we can do and end up with a 150 to 200 dollar chain link by the time we're all said and done in the next, you know, six months, 12 months, whatever it may be. Uh, I do think link will be somewhere right in there. Uh, I think that's a pretty safe bet over 100 for sure. Um, 150 to 200 um, is as long as, you know, uh, everything plays nice and Bitcoin doesn't, uh, you know, or we don't have any like more coronavirus part 77 or anything like that. Uh, I think that's certainly doable. I think altcoins are getting ready to uh, explode here in the next handful of weeks. I, I mean, some of them are already moving, right? Um, but just keep your, keep your eyes peeled uh, to all your alts. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about this. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, let me know if you like more videos like this that are kind of you never seen before or you like just <laughs> price predictions and uh, pump, pump me up and <laughs> uh, I want to know that I'm going to be a millionaire in the next four seconds. <laughs> All right. L let me know. I appreciate you guys for watching this long. If you have. Um, yeah. If you haven't watched our other videos, go check them out and, you know, add 10 percent viewership. <laughs> We haven't got any views on those other ones. Uh, our Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we're still in Extreme Greed. I'll do it real quick. Our car of the day, Aston Martin Vantage, in the very dull color, <laughs> chartreuse. And our quote of the day, there you go. Hopefully, you're still watching somebody. We got to get some views. Hopefully, Chainlink can get me some views today. All right. Spread the word. If you like this, share it, somebody. Uh, that's, that's it in a nutshell. Link Bitcoin. Maybe we'll try another one. Uh, maybe link Ethereum or maybe another alt. I don't know. We'll see how it goes the rest of the day. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much.